And now, your first alert five weather. Check this out. Weather excitement in Kit Carson County this afternoon. A tornado touched down near Vona. That's out near the Kansas border. Thanks to Stefan for sending that picture. And take a look at that. Looked like a tropical storm blowing across the prairies of Pueblo West this afternoon. Shout out to Scott for sending that video out to us. Outside this evening, it is cool and it is damp out there. Look at humidity 90% thanks to that upslope breeze. Live look downtown Pueblo. You're at 70 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. Here's that rain check and it was wet and wild across parts of the springs southeast side of town astrazon and academy two and a half inches of rain in just one hour this afternoon obviously storm drains can not absorb that kind of water so you get flash flooding but heavy rain from flying horse penrose park that's east of palmer park on the east side of the city between powers and academy calhan prior gate 1.8 to 1.9 inches of water just this afternoon and this evening in pueblo west some areas got about an inch of rain in a short period of time still have a flash flood warning northeastern el paso county until 11:30 tonight had a report of a road washed out between calhan and rama not on 24, but just south of 24, so some problems across that area. Be on the alert for high water for at least another hour and a half. Tracking some light rain across the city of the Springs. Here's a thunderstorm that's trying to hold together right across the Larkspur area, trying to build to the southeast, so if it does hold together, Tri-Lakes area, batten down the hatches, moderate to even heavy rain possible, dangerous cloud to ground lightning. Severe thunderstorm warning for that one out across the valley. Going to see hail, maybe a nickel to quarter size there. A lot of strong gusty wind and just an electric factor. A lot of that dangerous cloud to ground lightning. Also watching thunderstorms try and develop at this late hour just to the north of Walsenburg. Welcome to monsoon season. It happens. Those thunderstorms will start to die off early tomorrow morning. Here's what happens on Thursday. This is our big weather story. Healthy cold front for July will move through late tomorrow night. By Thursday, it's down to the south of us. We'll have a moist upslope flow at the surface. What that'll do is push a lot of low level moisture up against the mountains. Monsoon is still going to be active, so all that water coming together, little disturbance to provide some good lift, some good energy in the atmosphere. We will have thunderstorms Thursday afternoon. Some will have moderate to even heavy rainfall. Pretty quiet Thursday morning, but by early afternoon, this model gets the party started. And look at that by mid to late afternoon. There's your moderate to heavy rainfall. And with the ground so saturated from today's water, flooding was a uh, is going to be a strong possibility across most parts of the News 5 viewing area. Now tomorrow, not as many thunderstorms, but I think we'll see a few. This model wants to keep most of the action southwest of Pueblo. But I'm telling you, with all the water in the atmosphere, daytime heating to destabilize things, I think we'll see a few more thunderstorms across the Pikes Peak region than what this model is showing. Everything starts to die off by late tomorrow night here in southeastern Colorado. Pueblo 93 today in Colorado Springs. We topped out at 89 degrees, about seven tenths of an inch of water in the rain gauge out at the airport this afternoon and early this evening. Outside right now, updated temperatures, rain cooled air, 60s and 70s, how sweet it is. Low temperatures tonight, 50s, higher elevations. 60s across the eastern plains. Tomorrow around here, temperatures not quite as hot in most locations, but it's going to be another humid day around here. And again, look out for thunderstorms. Any thunderstorm that develops tomorrow afternoon will be capable of moderate to heavy rainfall and look out for that dangerous cloud of ground lightning with those monsoon thunderstorms. Thursday and Friday, it's a three on the storm impact scale. Heavy rain and flash flooding possible both of those days. Enjoy the cool air while you can because the heat is coming back. We'll be in the upper 80s next Monday and Tuesday with lots of sunshine in Pueblo. Get that rain while the getting's good because it's going to heat up and dry out next week. Just focus on Thursday and Friday. Those are the big rain days. Heavy rain possible. Flash flooding a strong possibility both of those afternoons into the evening. Canyon City showers and thunderstorms in the mix all the way into Saturday afternoon. Prime time for that stuff will be between about 2 and 6 p.m. for Woodland Park. Rain showers, thunderstorms up there, and it's going to get unseasonably cool with that heavy rain possible Thursday and Friday. Afternoon highs warming up closer to normal by early next week.